play football. Football needs special equipment. A college covered with ivy, a coliseum or stadium filled to overflowing with 100,000 rabid, wildly cheering fans, great armies of vendors, managers, mascots, photographers, sports writers, doctors, elaborate brass bands, assorted coaches, old grads, scores of Annie Oakleys, and two teams resplendent in brilliant uniforms create a riot of color and atmosphere unequaled by any other game on earth. Now, the object of the game is to advance the ball over the goal line of the opposing team by hook or crook. The 11 men on either team, two ends, and that's how the game is played. Now the teams line up for the kickoff. The referee blows his whistle, and the game is on. It's a long, high end over end kick over the end zone into the arms of, uh, of uh, Swivel Hip Smith, that great All-American star, triple threat scat back. Look at him go. They can't touch him. He can really carry the mail, that boy. Look at that open field running. Look at that straight arm. He's away, and he's over for a touchdown. Well, it isn't often you see this happen. 105 yards to a touchdown on the opening kickoff. Now, here's the try for the extra point, and the kick is good, and the score is 7 0. Here comes Swivel Hip Smith out of the game. Listen to that cheer. The coach is saving Smith. He's not taking any chances with his star player. Back to the game. Taxidermy Tech kicks off to Anthropology AM. But the ball is fumbled, yes, and now it's Taxidermy Tech's ball. They go into a huddle. The quarterback or field general looks over the defense and decides which number to call. They come quickly out of the huddle. The line shifts into position. The quarterback barks his signals. The backfield shifts. The ball snapped. The quarterback makes it to the halfback, gives it to the fullback. The front foul drives to the center for a gain of eight yards. <laughs> And that quarterback's a smart boy. Oh! All right, all right. Signals. 18, 29, 47, 63, 54, 99. The team's working like a well-oiled machine. It's a double wing back to the right from an unbalanced line. A man in motion. The halfback's got it off tackle, and he's smeared for a nine-yard loss. What a dumb quarterback. To the spectator... Football may appear rather rough at times, but in reality, it's a character-building game. All right, taxidermy's ball, third down and 11 to go. DeGrotti has the ball. He gives it to Gershman. No, Sibley's got it. There it goes to right. No, no, it's a fake, a hidden ball. Crisscross, cross buck, end around, double lateral, razzle dazzle, spinner, split buck. And he's in the clear. Uh-oh, there's a penalty on the play. It's against Taxidermy Tech. One, two, three, four, five, 15 yards for unnecessary roughness. Now it's fourth down and 26 to go for TNT. The quarterback is worried. The coach radiates confidence. The quarterback decides to kick. It's, it's blocked. No, he got it away. It's a high spiral. The safety man's under it. He muffed it. It's a loose ball. Number 48's in fast. Oops. Butterfingers. Moose Williams got it. He had it. Now DeGrotti missed it. Seaburn boots it to the 50. There it goes to the 35. It's the next ball. No. Wow. Right. Wrenched it away, and it's AM's. No, everybody dropped it. Nobody's got it. A 100 yard fumble. A free ball over the next goal line. But here comes Nordberg. He's recovering the old pork skin for a six. What a play. The teams line up for the try for the extra point. There's the kick, and it's blocked. Anthropology a and receives, and they're nailed on the 25-yard strike. What's the quarterback going to call? It looks like a pass. It is a pass. Geronimo fades back, cocks his arm, rifles a bullet pass into the flat. It's intercepted by Anthropology. Here's the 40-yard marker, the 30, the 20, the 10, and he's over for a touchdown. There's the try for the extra point. It's good, or, or is it? Yes, no, yes, no, yes, no, and there's the gun ending the half. Well, here's one for the books. The officials put their heads together, they reach their decision, and the score at the end of the half, taxidermy seven, anthropology 12 and one half. During the half, the 
players are allowed to relax. The coach, who is a master of psychology, points out their weaknesses. To prevent overconfidence, he shames them. Arouses their school spirit. A man of many moods. Now threatening, now pleading. A saint, a devil. He has varied and subtle ways of appealing to their sympathy. Now get out there and fight! Back on the field, the second half's about to start. Smith's going in. Listen to that cheer. There's the kick. Swivel hips is under it. A host of anthropologists close in, but he breaks away. 10, 20, 30. Look at him go. 40, 50. They can't stop him. Listen to that crowd. 60, 70, 80. Look at that straight arm. He's in the clear. 90, 95, and he's over for a... Wow! He's hit and hit hard. This is a real blow to the coach. They're taking Smith out. It's a tough break for the team. They're working on swivel hips, Smith. Tech is snowed under by a wave of tackle. The coach is feverishly trying to revive Smith. Time is running out, and taxidermy is up against a stone wall. Desperately, they work on old Swib. Only time for one more play. Look, at Smith on his feet. He's going in. The crowd goes wild. Anything can happen. The team's fired up. Here's the play. Smith's got the ball. He's away. Look at that blocking. <laughs> Smith reverses the field. They're clearing the way. Not a man on his feet. Smith cuts back. The crowd is hysterical. It's Smith tight roping down the sideline. Smith breaks into the clear. But look, there's an anthropology man on his feet. One second to go. What a game. And here comes the tackler. Run, Smith, run. Smith's tired. Having trouble with the ball. The AM man is gaining. He leaves his feet. Look out. Look. And there's the final gun. And Smith wins for taxidermy tech by half a point. To the coach goes the real credit. It's his clear thinking and calm, level-headed reasoning that makes football the great game it is today.